Hey, what's going on guys? I hope you all are doing well today. Elliot here and welcome back to the Fragrance Well. It's time to do another Signature Scents video. This is not a seasonal specific Signature Scents video. I will do a spring version a little bit later on when spring is a little bit more established. Uh, but for this one, it's just uh, kind of a general Signature Scents video. It's not a ranked list or anything like that. I just got eight fragrances here that uh, for the most part have not been featured in other Signature Scents videos uh, with the exception of one in particular. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna go over what I like about them. I will say this much for uh, me, when I uh, kind of label a fragrance as being a good signature scent, typically I look for something that has a little bit of a classiness to it. That's just me. I think that stems from me uh, having my first signature scent being Curve for Men, which is a barbershop style fragrance that kind of works for anything. I'm sure many of you out there are familiar with that fragrance. That might have been your signature scent when you were a little bit younger. Certainly was very popular in the uh, late 90s into the early 2000s. You can still find it today. Spawned a number of flankers, which are just not as good, but that's neither here nor there. I think that's why my mindset is kind of made up of the style of signature scents that I like. So let's go ahead and get into it. But before we get started, as always, please remember to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you do like the content and remember to hit that bell icon and enable notifications so you can be notified when I upload new videos. Let's get into it. First one on this list, we've got one from the house of Dior. This is gonna be Dior Homme Original. Dior Homme Original. Now I do apologize, I know this fragrance is not necessarily that easy to find, but it's not impossible to find. I do think you can find it pretty regularly on eBay for an okay price. It's not ridiculously overpriced. Last time I checked, that is. So this is going to be an Iris fragrance, obviously. Uh, this is not necessarily my favorite out of the Dior Homme Iris fragrance line, so to speak, but I do think this is the most versatile uh, because it features uh, the things that are in Intense and Parfum, uh, they're both featured here. You got the kind of chocolatey, patchouli, cocoa flavored uh, aspects that you might find in Intense, and you also got the leatheriness that you find in Parfum present in this one, mixing also with some aromatics. So this is the most complex version, and I would think uh, the most versatile version as well. Certainly has that class, classy aspect to it, a little bit of a soapiness, the way the aromatics mix with the iris. The iris certainly is not as intense in this, obviously, but it is still an iris forward fragrance, so you do have to like iris for this one. But I think this makes a great signature scent. Once again, from the house of Dior, this is Dior Homme Original. All right, next one's coming from the house of Brioni. This is Brioni Eau de Parfum. Brioni Eau de Parfum. Absolutely a classy fragrance for sure. I think I've only experienced this one, but I imagine all their fragrance have a classiness to them, being that they are suit makers, the house of Brioni, that is. This one is going to be overly fresh. Uh, a lot of violet in this one. You got a little bit of kind of a apple accord mixing with it a little bit. Some ozonic notes lots of ambroxan, and a good amount of musk as well. Fragrance is fresh, it's classy, slightly woody, very easy to wear in my opinion. I think you can pretty much rock it for anything. Easy signature scent choice for me. Once again, from the house of Brioni, this is Brioni Eau de Parfum. All right, next one's coming from the house of Amouage, and we've got Beach Hut Man. Amouage Beach Hut Man. Definitely a classy scent also, in my opinion. A very gentlemanly fragrance. This is mint mixing with bitter, spicy, green, and woody accords. Very in your face, <laughs> spicy, green, woody accords, so to speak. This one I think really works for a daily wear fragrance. However, it can be kind of heavier for the warmer months, so to speak. But you know, you can just go lighter with the sprays and if you're inside, who cares? But yeah, I love this fragrance. I think this makes a great signature scent instantly fell into that category as soon as I got it. And the way the mint just mixes with those green accords in this, it just adds a touch of freshness that this fragrance uh, does really, really well in my opinion. So once again, from the house of Amwaj, this is Beach Hut Man. Okay, next up from the house of Wilhelm Parfumery, this is Morning Chess. Wilhelm Parfumery Morning Chess. So man, this is a new favorite of mine. Very nice bergamot off the top. Uh, shares a similarity to Beach Hut Man in that it has a note of 
galbanum, which is a very bitter green resin. It's very present in this. Main difference is there's no mint accords in this and it has a leatheriness mixing with that galbanum that just makes this fragrance awesome. It's pretty much a green woody dry down mixing with that bergamot that this has, giving it a fresh and green characteristic in my opinion. Very classy, could pretty much work for anything and easy signature scent choice for me. Once again, from Wilhelm Parfumery, this is Morning Chess. All right, next one's coming from the house of Francesca Bianchi. This is Sticky Fingers. Francesca Bianchi, Sticky Fingers in this tiny 30 milliliter bottle. So this one here, I'm gonna classify as the X factor on this list. Why is it the X factor? Uh, it's definitely the most unique and quite different from everything else I have featured on this list today. So this fragrance here is slightly spicy, kind of leathery and a little bit powdery and kind of earthy as well. Very interesting scent. Uh, I wouldn't say if others smell this, you know, unless you're already familiar with it, that you would think it wouldn't work as a signature scent, but it probably wouldn't be your first choice. That's why I kind of call it the X factor, but there's something about this scent that I would not mind wearing it somewhat regularly. It's it's particular, but it's not so weird that it's like off-putting. It's just, you know, not your average scent. Uh, the way the leatheriness comes across, it's not overly overt in your face, but Francesca Bianchi is very, uh, a lot of her fragrances seem to use like really strong accords, notes like castorium is present in this, but it's kind of dialed back and blended very nicely in this fragrance, so it's not too in your face. This one doesn't really come across as animalic. Name is a little misleading. You would think it would be really rich and sweet, but it's not, but there is a touch of sweetness in this very nice fragrance. Very interesting choice, but I still think it can work as a signature scent. So once again, from Francesca Bianchi, this is Sticky Fingers. Moving on, next one's coming from the house of Hermes, and this is H24 Eau de Parfum. Hermes H24 Eau de Parfum. So we're heading back into the greener side of things. This fragrance is fresh, it is green, it is slightly metallic, has a uh, molecule called scarline. I think I'm pronouncing that right, I apologize if I'm not. Uh, has a metallic characteristic to it. It kind of has musky characteristics without it necessarily smelling exactly like musk. There's Narcissus in here, so you got some yellow florals giving a different feel. A Little bit of oak moss kind of adding to that green element. It's a very classy fragrance that is definitely different from most of what is out there, especially in the designer realm. I think this is a great everyday wear fragrance, easy signature scent choice for me. So once again, from the house of Hermes, this is H24 Eau de Parfum. All right, next one, also coming from the house of Hermes, this is Terre de Hermes Parfum. Terre de Hermes Parfum. The famous Terre de Hermes DNA refined, smoothed around the edges. Still a little bit of an orange smell, but it's more so of a grapefruit smell in this, but the citrus element of Terre de Hermes has been pulled back a lot in this one, I think kind of that's kind of what helps it smooth it out, so to speak. And a lot more benzoin in this, just giving it this kind of dusty, warm feeling, still quite woody, still quite earthy. You still have that vetiver. This is an amazing fragrance, just the most refined version of Terre de Hermes to date. Wore this the other day. It's kind of what triggered me wanting to do this video because I just love wearing this stuff amazing signature scent DNA in my opinion. And also if you think Terre de Hermes is a little bit too strong, a little bit too sharp, maybe check out this one. It does dial down that quality quite a bit and you might find this a little bit more palatable. So once again, from the house of Hermes, this is Terre de Hermes Parfum. All right, and last but not least, coming from the house of Tom Ford, we've got Beau Du Jour. Tom Ford, Beau Du Jour. So this is the one I mentioned earlier has been featured on other signature scent list before. Uh, I tried not to include it, but it's just too good of an option. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, if I had to go with one signature scent out of my collection, this is still going to be a finalist at least out of all the ones I have. Love this stuff. This is very gentlemanly, a classic take on a barbershop fragrance, but with modern sensibilities, primarily coming from notes like uh, amped up ambery notes, so to speak, mix mixing with uh, some great patchouli. There's a great patchouli accord in this. You got oak moss giving that 
uh, classic barbershop style feel to it. Lots of lavender in this as well. This is a lovely fragrance. I love this stuff. Last all day long on my skin, has gotten me compliments before. Perfect signature scent for me. So once again, from the house of Tom Ford, this is Beau Du Jour. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Feel free to let me know down in the comments what some of your favorite signature scent fragrances are. And yes, I do think you can have more than one. It doesn't have to be just one. I appreciate you guys watching all the way until the end. Remember to be well and smell well, and I will see you in the next episode of The Fragrance Well. Have a good one.